So today in this video, guys, we are going to start this analysis by looking at the price action of Bitcoin in a daily time frame. And later in this video, we are also going to switch into weekly and in a smaller time frame. And in a weekly and in a smaller time frame, there are some very, very interesting scenario that could be unfolding next for Bitcoin. So please watch this video till the end. And also, guys, I would really, really appreciate if you could take just two seconds of your time and destroy that like button. And for those individuals watching this for the first time, hit that subscribe button and the bell and also guys let me make you aware bybit right now is providing around 1610 dollar deposit bash bonus and this one is for limited time only the only thing you have to do is sign up using my ref link down below the sign up process would take you only two or three minutes of your time and if you already have a bybit account and you want to claim this bonus one more time then you have to create a new email address and follow this process one by one let me show you very quickly after signing up just go to promotion and click on the latest promotion 1610 dollar reward up for grabs click on this here's how you can claim your bonus 1010 dollar bonus for new users in the deposit bonus bash page up to $100 in reward hub and 500 water bonus are available in the referral program. Click on this deposit bonus bash. This page should appear after that. Scroll down side, then you will see the reward table, how you can claim your bonuses, the rules and terms, and just click on join now. That's it guys. And now let's jump into our chart. So starting in a daily time frame, as you can see, the price here has failed to find support at the lower line area of this rising wedge and now we are clearly heading to the downside so if this rising wedge scenario is going to play out as i've already showed you in my previous video the price target here to the downside could be around this 42 to 43 thousand price level because we are aware around this 42 to 43 thousand price level in a weekly time frame is also a very very strong support area so i personally as i've already said in my last video if this is going to be a pullback, I'm actually expecting a strong bounce out of this 42 to 43,000 price level here to the downside. And the reason why I'm actually expecting this bounce here, if the trend here is going to continue lower and complete this rising wedge target level, because in a weekly time frame, I showed you guys this one scenario here. According to this parallel channel, right, we were aware the price of Bitcoin here could be seeing a movement in this manner right this manner the parallel channel consolidation phase and again a movement in this upper duration because we are aware with this rising which the price target here to the downside around this 42,000 43,000 here right if it's going to come back to test this area then we know in a weekly time frame this could also mean a very very strong support around that price level because this same line acted as a resistance here once we broke out of it the price also came back to retest it around this 43,000 found support and headed in upper direction. So this pullback here, if it's going to happen, I'm actually expecting a very, very strong bounce out of it. The reason why I'm actually expecting a bounce here is not just only because of this, the completion of this rising wedge scenario and again, a movement in the upper direction or this parallel channel, but also I've talked about this scenario plenty of time in my videos. If this is going to be an actual trend reversal and let's say we are going to see a pullback towards this 42 to 43,000 price level, right? Doesn't matter if the pullback is going to happen till there, right? What I believe is a price of Bitcoin could see a bounce here, a relief rally in a bigger time frame, at least towards this 0.618 Fibonacci level, which is sitting around 56,400 price level. Why I'm actually expecting a relief rally before choosing an actual trend direction. Either it could be this reversal here or a movement here in an upper duration. Because if you go back here, and look at this price structure of Bitcoin here from 2019. You will see from this swing high till this swing low, right? The price actually came to retest this 0.618 Fibonacci level before choosing a trend duration, right? We got a rejection, but price did have a relief rally towards this 0.618 and we saw an actual trend reversal after that. So let's look at this from 2017. I've actually talked about this already in my video from this swing high till this swing low this price pullback what we had you can see we got a relief rally and this relief rally also came exactly at this 0.618 fibonacci level and got a rejection if we would have found support above it that would have indicated the trend here would continue in our position but we got a strong rejection that gave us a very strong indication the trend here is going to reverse after that and look at this right so now if this is going to be an actual trend reversal from here, I strongly believe the price of Bitcoin would give us a relief rally around this 
0.618 at least around this 0.618 before choosing a trend duration and if we are going to break out of it then this is also going to indicate the price here is going to continue but if we are going to see a rejection then we have to be careful because that could indicate a trend reversal scenario and now let's also look at this in a smaller time frame if we look at this price structure here in a four hour time frame you can see guys the price movement what we are witnessing here right and also this price movement from february month price pullback point a point b point c point d and after this point e pullback again we started a movement in an upper direction and if you look here in our case guys pretty similar scenario point a point b point c reversal point d relief rally again and if this is going to be a pullback here to complete this point e after point e we could also see another movement because we are aware that price here after this pullback if that's going to happen we have a very very strong support line around this 42 to 43 thousand and we are also expecting a relief rally at least towards this 0.618 in a weekly time frame that is going to be around 56,400 price level but not just only because of this scenario here why i'm actually expecting price could see a pullback at this current stage but also if you monitor at this current price structure here you can see and simply add this parallel channel according to this parallel channel the price here is clearly forming lower highs lower lows continuation pattern once we were not able to find support above it at the lower line area of this descending channel we had a massive price pullback now let's look at this here as well you will see guys the price of bitcoin did pretty similar i mean this one was also lower highs lower lows continuation pattern and once when we were actually unable to find support at this lower line area of this descending channel again just like here we had this price pullback and now what could be a possible scenario pretty similar to the one which we actually saw here so if this is also going to play out like this right lower highs lower lows because this here is clearly flashing it is also making lower highs and lower lows type of scenario so if this is going to be a movement in this manner we have to be careful because we could see a downward price pullback around this 42 43 thousand and after that i'm actually expecting some relief rally to continue for bitcoin so for us right now the most important thing is if we don't want to continue this rally here to the downside then we have to break this lower highs lower lows continuation pattern i mean the price here should break the previous high structure and also start making higher highs and higher lows continuation pattern because if that's going to happen right this was a previous high and previous low so if the price of bitcoin again starts moving in this manner making higher highs higher lows continuation pattern then this could be a sign of a possible support and price would see some relief rally and not just only this one here guys but let me also show you in a weekly time frame what i want price of bitcoin to do today is close above this green line and this green line is the 20 weighted moving average which is sitting around 50,250 price level so if the price of bitcoin does also manages to let me show you here this green line right the 20 weighted moving average that would give us some hope that price here could still see some consolidation and again a slow movement here in an upper duration because this 20 weighted moving average has previously also acted as a very very strong line of support the final line of support because you can see in a weekly time frame once we broke out of 10 weighted moving average this 20 weighted moving average was our final support and after that price started hitting in an upper duration so that's why since today is a sunday i want price of bitcoin to close above this green line that is the 20 weighted moving average which is sitting around 50,246 so if that's going to happen then maybe we could also see in an upcoming week or tomorrow some impulsive move following for bitcoin so these are some of the scenarios i see right now looking at the price action of bitcoin in a daily time frame weekly time frame and also in a smaller time frame if you enjoyed my work then please hit that like button and for those individuals watching this for the first time hit that subscribe button and the bell so by saying this i'm signing out my name is anu bye bye guys